So last time we were able to actually get our images displaying from our grid view into our image view widget here. Uh, now I want to change the column, change the spacing between the images and also make sure that we have the right number of uh, images displaying in each column here. So let's go into fragment gallery here and I want to change this to number of columns three and also let's increase the spacing. So let's do like 1.5 dp here and maybe 1.5 dp there and that should be a little better. So now we can close the fragment gallery and also we want to fix what's displaying up here. So currently it shows the entire file path but really we only want the last piece here. So we're going to create a new array list of strings and I guess uh, directory names we'll call it equals uh, yeah, new array list and then do a for loop so integer i equals zero and i is less than direct nope directories dot size and then i plus plus and basically what I want to do is go directory names dot add direct nope, directories and get i but I only want to add that last little portion so let's see here I think let's let's do this in steps so uh, I guess integer index equals directories dot get i and then do last index of right we want to look for the last index of the slash so if we look here we want that uh, forward slash so I will stick that into there last index of the forward slash and then basically we just want to do a substring so I guess I can just call it string equals directories get i and then substring we want to take it from the intact index to the very end of the string. So I'll, we just want to grab it from the index and get the very last bit of the string and then we would add that to here. And then instead of passing directories to the spinner we can pass directory names to the spinner. And everything else should be pretty much the same because the two are identical. Uh, the directory spinner is still going to have they're identical so the same positions will be referred to here and that should be good so let's take a look and see what it looks like and we'll go to the share activity and okay so that looks good we could leave the slash there or you could not leave the slash there I'm just gonna leave it but if you wanted to you could easily just remove that slash uh, by doing something like uh, you could do either a plus one here or you could do dot replace the slash with a white space or or whatever you want or replace it with nothing it's up to you so I'm gonna leave it though so you do whatever you would like to do and so now we're ready to get ready to navigate to that final screen where we're gonna actually be able to share the picture that we chose so let's create a new variable up here so private string m selected image we'll call it and it's gonna be empty at first, it's gonna be null. And what we'll do is right when it starts and we actually set the first image, uh, I can't remember where I did it. Uh, oh, here. So use the grid adapter and set it up and then set the first image to be displayed. So right when we set the first image, we wanna go selected image equals that image, the one that we chose. So image urls.get zero. And then every time you click on a new image, we basically wanna do the same thing. So let's go selected image and then get the image from that particular position. And then we can have an on-click listener up here for the next screen. And when we navigate to that next screen, which I believe is an activity, uh, let's go to share and we have share activity. Oh, we didn't actually make it. So what we'll do is we'll create an intent and it'll navigate us to that next activity. And we're gonna pass the selected image as an intent extra. I was gonna end the video here, but actually we still have quite a bit of time. So let's uh, let's go into share and create a new activity. I'm just gonna call it next activity. And we can extend app compact activity and get our log and insert on create and set content view r.layout.activity next, which obviously I don't have yet. So let's create that layout. Right click, new layout file activity next and I'm not going to put anything in it yet I just wanted to make it 
And now, oh, let's add it to our manifest before I forget. So activity, uh, next activity, close that off. And now let's go back into gallery fragment. And right here, when we actually do click on that next button, we can use an intent. Close new intent. Whoops, got to import intent. And it will be gallery, no, get activity. And we want to go to next activity dot class. And we can do intent dot put string, string extra, put extra. So get string r dot string. I'm going to call it selected image, selected image, which we don't have yet. And then just pass that selected image. And then start activity and start the intent. So let's make this string. We'll go into our strings file here. Uh, intent extras. Oops. Let's paste that and then copy this line. Make another one. Selected image. Selected image. I guess I can just paste the same thing and go back in here. So that's good now. So now we'll, we'll, it will navigate us to uh, next activity, and we can actually get that intent. So let's just display it. So we've got the chosen image and I can do get intent get string extra get string r dot string dot select oops selected image okay so let's run that real quick and just see if we've actually got the correct image okay go to share activity and let's open up the log since we're going to need to see and we can just choose I'll just choose this one and click next and it takes us to a different activity and let's see next activity got the chosen image and you can see there is the image so now we're ready to we could take that image and now we're going to upload it to firebase and store it in firebase and also we want to add it to my profile and it will be so then it will be, be contained it'll show up in my profile so that's it for this video in the next one we're going to get started uploading that new image